Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Massachusetts for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. John Ritz on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. And tonight, it is the eight win, two loss, two tie Hopkinton Hillers taking on the one win, eight loss, two tie Norton Lancers. With a win tonight, the Hillers will officially clinch a playoff spot. So certainly a big game tonight for the Hillers as you want to rack up as much wins as possible to get that upper seed. Let's take a look at the TVL standings. The Hopkinton Hillers at the top with eight wins, two losses, and two ties. Ashland in second, seven wins, three losses, three ties. Dedham has six wins, four losses, two ties. And then you got Westwood, five wins, one loss, two ties. Medfield, six wins, no losses, four ties. Norwood, three, three, and three. Norton, one, eight, and two. Holliston, one, eight, and three. Dover, Sherborne, Weston, three, five, and two. And Holliston, one, eight, and three overall. And right now, we'll send it down to ice level for the announcement of the starting lineups and the national anthem. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Williams Sports Center. The season matchup between the visiting North and Lancers and the home team, Hopkinton Hillers. Introducing the starting lineups. First, the visiting Lancers. Starting defense, the junior, number 15, William McCarthy. On defense, the sophomore, number 10, Joe Pasolino. And left wing, the junior, number 17, Patrick Ford. Third time of junior, number 19, Patrick Donahue. And third way of junior, number 7, Jeremy Cross. And third of four points to the sophomore, number 0, Colin Lyons. That's what the record is today, is Hugo. And junior is starting on a foul for the Hockington Hillers. Our defense is on the first day, and we
All right, a little technical difficulty there with the national anthem. So we're ready for hockey here at the New England Sports Center. The 1 8 and, and 2 Norton Lancers, the 8 2 and 2 Hopkinton Hillers. I'm happy, happy to be with you on um, this Wednesday evening. John Ritz on camera and set to face off in the center circle. It's Pat Donahue, a junior captain for the Norton Lancers, up against Sean Walsh for the Hillers. Let's take you through the starting lineups just in case you missed them. For the Hopkins to the Hillers on defense, Andrew Gilbert and Cam Jarrett. Starting center, Sean Walsh. Left winger, Steve Simos. Right winger, Tommy Hamlet. In net today, it's Gray Bailey. For the Norton Lancers, right winger, Jeremy Cross. Left winger, Patrick Lorden. Center, Pat Donahue. On defense, Joe Fasolino and William McCarthy. In net, it's Colin Lyons. And we are underway here at the New England Sports Center. With possession, it's Pat Donahue coming up the far side, sold away by Simos. And he'll trickle it up the board. Sean Walsh tracks it down into the corner. The backhander, Hamlet. And he was just waiting out in front, but it's covered up by Lyons. Oh, good start for the Hillers. Force it right into the Lancers zone and get things going. With a win today, the Hillers rack up or clinch a playoff spot. They have 18 points overall, eight wins, two losses, two ties. There's Sean Walsh out in front, Hamlet, goal! Just like that, the Hillers up 1-0. 30 seconds into action. Tommy Hamlet puts the Hillers up off a of beauty of an assist by Sean Walsh. Well, I'm sure the Hillers are hungry for some goals here tonight after a close one to nothing meeting with the Holliston Panthers this past Saturday. And they know that the Norton Lancers have struggled this season, so they want to try to take advantage early on. As Rogers knocks that one down, covered up by the Lions. Well, I don't know if we'll see anything close to the goaltending that we saw from Holliston's Nico Quattromoni, he was just sensational in net for the Panthers this past Saturday. Over 50 shots for the Hillers, and Quattromoni only let up one goal. Out on top, Saparosius goes wide to the left. Knocked down by Glyden along the far side. Rogers along the far side, trying to wrap it around the net. Put it up towards Saparosius on the near side. There's a shot, and it's turned away by Lyons out in front of the net. That was Jake Weinstock. Taking a check behind the net. That's Dan Kirk. Kirk able to maintain possession. Now it's stolen away along the far side by Joseph Giuliano, another captain for the Lancers. Saparosius knocks it right out of the neutral zone. Picked up by Gajir, the senior. Here comes the Lancers. Trying to charge in here. And that one's going to be wrapped up by Gray Bailey. It's a good stick work by Gajir and Jeremy Cross. Sean Walsh back out there for the face off. Over to Hamlet. Knocking it back into the Hiller zone is Jeremy Cross. Tracked down by Andrew Gilbert. Here comes Hamblin. Hamblin along the near side. Leaves it out in front. Walsh! And that one's turned away by Lyons. A good save there. Whenever it's Walsh face to face with the goaltender, it is certainly always a big threat to the opposing team. Pass over to Sheamus. There's a shot. That one's covered up by Lyons. Well, so far, Alliance has been busy in net for Norton. Killers will switch things up and we'll have a face off in the Lancers zone. Jake Connors will take the face off for Hopkinton. He was up against Mike Whalen. Lancers trying to establish some sort of control here as Whalen comes up with it. Back to the neutral zone we go. Smash up by Fiolino. Tracked down by Glyden. 
There comes the Hillers. Jake Connors with possession coming up the far side. He'll take a check into the far side boards. Pulls it down. Now it's stolen away. Mike Whalen with possession. And he'll pass it over to Deer Cole. And that one's turned away by Gray Bailey. Norton's had a couple of good shots on net early on in this game. Along the near side corner, Quinlan. Lancers establishing some momentum in the Hiller zone. And out in front, there's a Norton goal. Beauty of a pass by Declan Gill to Joseph Faolino. And it's one to one. have evened things up. Dan Kirk out there for the faceoff. Well, these last couple of minutes have belonged to the Lancers possession wise. Here comes Kirk up the near side. Tracked down by Kajir. And I don't know if it's because of the result in the postseason the past couple seasons for the Hillers, but they have been giving their first line guys a lot of rest in the early moments of the game. As that one's wrapped up by Gray Bailey. They'll put the first line back out there now. Sean Walsh up against Pat Donahue. Gilbert with the pass up to Walsh. Here comes Walsh. He'll take a check into the far side. Simos trying to track it down. Saporosius with the backhanded pass over towards Simos. Here it comes Simos approaching. And that one's going to be wrapped up by Lions. Sean Walsh up against Pat Donahue. Killers have switched things up defensively. Around the net, it's Hamlet. Trying to dig it out of there is Walsh. He'll turn it around, the shot turned away. Colin Lyons has had a couple good saves in the early goings for the Lancers. On the far side, Faolino. Knock up by Cross. And Sheamus was trying to dig it out of there. Approaching 10 and a half minutes left to go in the first period. A one-to-one -one game between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Norton Lancers. As Hamblett rifles that one up, and it's turned away. Hillers switching things up once again. With possession now, it's Aiden Walsh. I think you're gonna see Hopkinton try a lot of different combinations in this game. And they have, so far, here in these early minutes, as Sheamus knocks that one around the boards. Digging it out of the corner, Aiden Walsh. There's a shot there wide to the right. Goes off the stick of Luke Glyden. Along the near side, that's Jake Connors. And now here comes Norton with possession. This is Dominic Del Grosso. Leaves it out in front. Out in front there, and it is wrapped up by Bailey as Del Grosso draws a push. A little extracurricular activity going on in front of the Hillers net. Face off in the Hiller's zone. Dan Kirk up against Joseph Giuliano. Along the near side. Pass by Flukager. Dan Kirk gets a stick on it. Here comes the Lancers looking for a shot here. Out in front, turned away. Good defensive play there by Gilbert. Lancers still with possession. Top of the circle, out in front. And a beauty of a save by Gray Bailey. It was a wide open right side of that net and Brendan Hayden was trying to exploit it. There's another shot and a glove save by Bailey. That shot by Giuliano. 
First line back out there for the Hillers. A one to one game, 9.02 left to go, and I'm sure the Lancers would love to prove themselves tonight. Walsh up against Donahue. Things a little chippy out there between these two teams early on. Clyde with the pass up to Simos. Now Walsh racing up the ice. Here he comes up the far side boards. Around the net. Pretty well covered. They didn't let him get a shot off. Leaves it for Cam Jarrett. There's Jarrett with a shot. And it's still out in front of the net. Nearly knocked in by Hamlet. Walsh over to Glyden, Rister. And well defended by the Lancers. Hillers still have it. Along the near side, that's Jarrett. Now out in front, Walsh with the shot, and Lions able to cover up. Walsh was looking five hole there. Nice save once again by Lions. And right now the scoreboard's saying the Lancers winning the uh, shots on goal battle, 7-4. Lancers got nothing to lose at this point. They're gonna give it everything they got. There's a shot, that's turned away by Bailey. Biden up to Simos. Well, I think the message Norton's trying to send, if you thought this game was gonna be easy because of our record, you thought wrong. Biden with possession along the far side. It was turned back up the ice by Pepin. Now we're gonna have a whistle here and perhaps a penalty. Tripped up was Mike Whalen. No penalty. Face off for the Hillers, Jake Connors up against Mike Whalen. Saparoshitz chases it down. Stolen back by Del Grosso, who will put it around the boards. Closing in on seven and a half left in the first period. Pass over to the near side and now with possession, it's Will McCarthy. We'll put it up towards the end boards. Saparoshitz gets to it. And Saparoshitz was trying to get it over to Quinlan. Nice body check there by Gilbert. Here comes Will Quinlan. Up behind the net is Connors trying to track it down. Aiden Walsh along the far side boards. And we get a push here right after the whistle. Oh, these officials letting these guys play out there. We'll get a face off in the Hillers zone. 6.58 left to go. A one to one game. Dan Kirk up against Joseph Giuliano. Lancers looking to set something up here. Out in front. That's turned away. Pretty good shot there by Cross, but a nice save by Bailey. Rogers knocks it along the far side. The answer is quick to respond with possession, Brendan Hayden. Hayden with the pass up to Cross, stolen away by Weinstock. Weinstock knocks that out in front, trying to get to it. With possession behind the net, Kajir. He's battling along with Kirk. Cam Jarrett along the far side. Hiller switching things up once again. Sean Walsh, Tommy Hamlet back out there. Cam Jarrett along the far side boards. Jarrett, Rogers now. Up to Walsh, here comes Walsh. Out in front, Hamlet with the shot turned away. There's Simos. Walsh back to Glyden. Glyden puts that one in the slot and it's wrapped up off the stick of Hamlet. Lions able to get the glove on it. 5.46 left to go in the first period. Millers have quickly taken the lead with shots on goal, 10 to seven. The Lancers certainly providing some pressure here tonight. Sean Walsh up against Pat Donahue. Over to Glyden along the far side. He'll wrap that one around. He's looking towards Hamlet. Hamlet out in front, and Simons just trying to race that one in. Stolen away, there's a shot by Walsh, turned away. 
What a great steal that was. Glyden missed the puck there. And Jeremy Cross contesting. And now it's taken away. Simos trying to leave that one for Hamblin. It's tracked down by Patrick Lorden. Simos up against Kajir. Saparoshitz, look out, turned away. Hamlet with possession, trying to wrap it around, out in front. Hamlet thought he had a goal there. Thought Simos was gonna stuff it in. We'll get an icing. Less than five minutes left to go in the first period. Score remains one to one. Hillers two points away from officially clinching a playoff spot. Trying to do that very thing tonight. Jake Connors on the faceoff for Hopkinton up against Mike Whalen. Quinlan along the far side boards. Connors trying to track it down. He'll wrap it around. Aiden Walsh along the near side. Take it back by Quinlan. There's Sheamus. Wide to the left he goes. Trying to poke it out is Jay Connors. And it's stolen back by Norton. On the near side, Dominic Del Grosso. Getting out in front of it was Sheamus to turn it back around off sides. Dan Kirk up against Joseph Giuliano. Get in on the action, Weinstock. Back to the Norton zone it goes. Passes up to Lukager. It's back towards the near side. Sheamus gets the lift on it there. Doing battle along the far side corner, Faolino and Rogers. Lancer's trying to establish possession. Pat Donahue with the pass over. Hard hit by Flukager on Rogers. Here comes the Lancers. Racing up, Brandon Hayden. Jammed up along the near side corner. Taken back by Hopkinton. Getting the stick on it there was Jake Weinstock and now racing up the ice at Stan Kirk. Up behind the net, Rogers trying to flip it around. No one there. Ends up going off of McCarthy. Pass just misses Hamlet. And Cam Jarrett lost his stick, so he's gonna more than likely come out and just pick up another stick, and we'll get a whistle here along the near side boards. Puck went out of play. 3.15 left to go. We remain knotted at one. Sean Walsh up against Donahue. Along the near side, Jarrett. That one rifles off the stick of Simos. And I'll draw the offsides. Well, it's been a back and forth kind of game so far. Certainly the last few minutes in favor of the Hillers. Has a great check there by Gilbert on Donahue. Pass over to Walsh, here comes Walsh. Hamlet trying to flip it in. Hamlet was looking to go glove side with that one. He was trying to get a, just enough of a lift on it. The Lions able to quickly get the glove up. Walsh out in front, Simos trying to sneak it through. Lancer's doing a nice job at covering up the slot. Walsh up against Donahue along the near side. And that'll draw the icing. Clock stopped at 2.30 left to go in the first period. The Hopkinton Hillers scored 30 seconds into action. Tommy Hamblin with a nice goal off an assist from Sean Walsh. And then the Lancers responded. A goal by Joseph Faolino. And off an assist by Declan Gill.
There is a Lancers penalty, so the Hillers do have the man advantage. Big opportunity here. Call is hooking on Pat Donahue. So we'll see if the Hillers can take advantage. Cam Jarrett up behind the net. He's leaving that one for Simos. Here comes Simos racing up the near side. Simos trying to close in. Wrap around, pass over to Gilbert. Now it's Jarrett. Jarrett trying to get a shot off. It's turned away. And a good flick up the ice there by McCarthy. 116 and counting left to go on the power play. 144 left to go and counting in the first period. Here comes Walsh. Walsh racing up. And he's turned away. Nice job by McCarthy getting in front of Walsh. Less than a minute left to go on the power play. So far, so good for Norton. Up the far side comes Walsh once again. Walsh was looking towards Rogers. The possession is Sean Walsh. Now to Sheamus. And back up to the Hiller zone it goes. Hopkinton running out of time on the power play. 25 seconds left. There's Rogers. Rogers racing up, and getting in front of him was McCarthy. Sheamus along the far side. Dan Kirk tracks it down in the near side corner. Back to Rogers, now Saperoshitz. Pass across, Sheamus trying to rifle that one through. Wide to the right he goes. Well, Norton has killed off the power play. We're back at even strength. 20 seconds and counting left to go in the first period. Saperosha is trying to track it down. Well, it's good pressure by the Lancers. They're really doing a nice job at covering up their slot and not letting the Hillers really get a handle on their possessions. They saw in Norton territory. 9.4 seconds left to go in the first period. Knotted up at one here at the New England Sports Center. Dan Kirk up against Joseph Giuliano. Giuliano knocks that one up the far side. Saperoshitz grabs it, that'll do it for the first period. That was a quick goal by the Hillers to start things off, but Norton responded with 11.51 left after the Hillers scored 30 seconds into action. And at the end of one, it's Hopkinton one. The Norton Lancers won. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Welcome back to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Hockey on H Cam. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera. And we are ready for the second period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Norton Lancers. It is a one to one game. Tommy Hamlet scored 30 seconds in for the Hillers off an assist by Sean Walsh, but Norton responded with 11.51 left in the first period as Joseph Faolino put in a goal assisted by Declan Gill. And no goal since, but some great goaltender play. As Sean Walsh takes the face off with Giuliano and we're underway here in the second period. Well, I'd have to imagine the Hillers, they're gonna respond with a whole lot more aggression than they did in the first period. This isn't a team that you want to give up a win to as we have a check along the near side and an early whistle. I believe it was offsides. That was indeed the call. Cam Jarrett backtracks it. Up the boards out of the reach of Hamlet. McCarthy has it for Norton. 
Here's Hamlet. Hamlet with the pass up towards Simos. Hamlet, the wrister that goes off a Lancer. In front of him was Giuliano, the captain defenseman. Hamlet leaves it for Gilbert. He'll flip it up to the near side corner. Simos out in front, and there's a goal! Tommy Hamlet with his second goal of the night. 14-13, left into the second. And Tommy Hamlet strikes again. that one. Miller's gonna try to come out firing here. Glyden. It's Andrew Gilbert on the assist. He also credited assist somebody else in quite catch the announcement as Weinstock puts that one off of Lyons. Well, Tommy Hamblin with a pair of goals today so far. Zaporoshitz puts that off the end boards. Two to one lead for the Hillers. Racing up for Norton, here comes Donahue. Out in front there to intercept, it was Zaporoshitz. Now Rogers up the near side. We pass over to Kirk. First line back out there for Hopkinton. And we'll have a whistle for icing there. Sean Walsh up against Joseph Giuliano. Simos turns it around. Walsh tracks it down, Hamlet gets stick on it. Up the near side boards it goes. Gilbert, and we'll pass it back up to Walsh, who will put it around the end boards. Hamlet trying to track it down, good hit on McCarthy. Pass the reach of Simos. It'll float off the stick of Bailey. It'll flick up by Sheamus. Walsh trying to close in. With possession, it's William McCarthy for Norton. Taken back by Sheamus, backhands it back into the Norton zone. And we'll do it again, this time off the boards. Simos towards Walsh. Now tracking it down, Jarrett. Here comes Norton, shot here, and that's off the side of the net. The wraparound and diverted by Glyden. That was a pretty good shot there for the Lancers. That was uh, Patrick Lorden who got the shot off. But a nice job by Glyden picking him up as he tried to wrap it around for a secondary attempt. Chasing it up the far side, Jarrett. Miller is working right to left across your screen for this period. Jarrett with possession. Good stick work there. Pass up to Quinlan. Turned away by McCarthy. Wyden tracks it down. Puts it up, here comes Jay Connors. Up the near side, he goes. The shot turned away, out of play. Good save there by Lyons. Eleven fifteen left to go in the second period. Hiller is up two to one. Tommy Hamlet struck again. Dan Kirk on the faceoff for the Hillers. Here comes Norton, racing up the ice. Declan Gill, he's diverted by Saperoshitz. Jammed up along the far side boards. Now Weinstock gets the stick on it. Rogers tracks it down. He's out front, shot by Kirk, wide to the right. And jammed up along the near side now. 
Able to wrap it around there, it was Gilbert. Huh? Thrown away by Gilbert. There's Saparoshitz. Weinstock. Up the far side it goes. Jared trying to catch up to it. Jared jammed up along the far side corner. And that one's going to be wrapped up by the goaltender, Mitch Director. And we do have a correction on the goaltender. We've been informed it's Mitch Director who's in that for Norton. Face off in the Lancers zone. Mitch Director, a senior goaltender for the Lancers. Sean Walsh on the face off. Hamlet with a shot, and it's wide to the left. On the far side, Walsh puts that up towards Jarrett. Jarrett will flick that one past the reach of Giuliano. Walsh digs it out. Intercepted by Fasolino's. Uh, Hamlet was trying to close in. Hamlet over to right side. And Walsh with a shot out in front. And it was an open net for a moment. Seamus couldn't get the shot he wanted on it. Simos had the initial shot in that sequence. Walsh over towards Simos. Simos looking to strike, and that one's wrapped up by Director. Another face off on the Norton side. Jake Connors up against Pat Donahue. And there's a shot turned away. I believe that was Connors and Aiden Walsh. You got the stick on it there. Saparoshitz jammed up along the far side. Quinlan gets in there. Tracking it down in the corner, John Brennan. Look behind the net, Aiden Walsh. Here comes the Lancers trying to strike here. Lydon gets in front of the cross, then draws a push. Intercepted there by Aiden Walsh. Walsh with some good work, and the shot just wide to the right. Aiden Walsh with some good skate work there. Let's get past that defenseman. Jammed up along the far side boards. Eight and a half left to go in the second period. Saparoshitz was trying to box out the approaching Lancer. John Brennan picks it up along the far side corner as the Hillers switch up their line. Getting out in front, Rogers. Rogers up to Weinstock. Here comes Weinstock, and he takes a shot there, and that'll be wrapped up by Director. Oh, Weinstock might have wanted to think about feeding it there to Kirk rather than taking a shot. It'll be Dan Kirk up against Mike Whalen. Weinstock chasing it down in the corner. And now Dan Kirk gets in there. Kirk pass up to Gilbert. And the backhander by Weinstock is wrapped up by Director. He's been awfully busy these last couple minutes. But some great saves by the senior. Sock along the near side. Kirk gets in there. Rogers trying to get to it. Turned away by Kirk, but that'll draw the offsides. The icing.
Face off in the Hiller zone, 7.30 left to go. Hopkinton two, Norton one. Sean Walsh up against Giuliano. Walsh pokes it out, Gilbert trying to get to it. Wrap around the board, Sheamus puts it up towards Simos. Sheamus over to Hamlet, just misses him. Here comes Walsh. Walsh trying for the wraparound. Leaves it behind to Gilbert, lifts that one out of play. Over to the rafters it goes. Sean Walsh on the face off for the Hillers. Here comes Norton. Leiden gets in front of Hayden. Nice job there. On the far side, that's Flukiger. Out towards the blue line. Wrapping it around is Brennan. And Simos pops it up along the near side. Hamlet trying to race in. Here comes Flukiger. Flukiger with a shot. Just a little bit too high there. Hamlet lost his stick along the near side. He was looking for a whistle there. Cam Jarrett briefly had a stick on it. Flukiger pops it off the boards over towards Giuliano. Luke Lydon tracks it down. Flying over to Quinlan. And swatted by Brennan back to Quinlan. Backhander. Now up the near side, Gajir. Jarrett. Pass up to Aiden Walsh. Good stick work. Here comes Aiden Walsh. Open break. There's a shot. And it is wrapped up by director. Aiden Walsh. He's looking to go glove side there. Just had to get it a little further left. Clock stopped at 5.55. Hiller's leading Norton 2-1. to one. Jake Connors on the faceoff for Hopkinton. Quinlan up against Violino. Violino puts it over to the far side. Now possession, Jeremy Cross. Back to the neutral zone we go. That went off of Gilbert from the stick of Donahue. And some nice work here by Rogers. Up along the near side boards it goes. Tracked down by Cross as the Hillers switch things up once again. Saparoshitz over towards Gilbert. Gilbert lifts that one off the glove of director. Saparoshitz with the power. Glove saved by director. Five fourteen left to go in the second period. It's been a uh, good defensive battle between these two TVL rivals so far. Some great work in net by both sides. Some great shots by both sides. Racing back to Hiller's territories, Jeremy Cross for Norton. Gilbert trying to turn him away. Off the stick of Bailey. Here comes Hopkinton. Yeah, that was lifted out of play off of the stick of Kirk. Clock stops at 4.55. Hillers get their first line back out there. Well, it's Tommy Hamlet striking 30 seconds into the first period, and then he strikes 47 seconds in to the second period. It's 2-1 Hillers lead. Hamlet with possession. Up the near side, leaves it for Simos, and Simos immediately turned away by Gajir. Director wraps it up, so another face-off upcoming.
over the far side. Sheamus backhands it off the boards. Walsh trying to get in on the action. Here's Flukiger. Walsh steals it away. Walsh will skate around with it, let the his fellow Hillers get set up, and a big hit there by Hamlet. Jarrett into Norton territory. Leaves it behind. Walsh racing in, no opening. The Lancers have done a great job in their defensive zone at closing all the gaps, not letting Walsh get any breaks. Here's Gajir. Gajir up the far side, contested by Jarrett. Jarrett trying to jam it out. And it's stolen away, Sheamus with possession. And Sheamus takes a check along the near side with Giuliano as the puck goes out of play. 3.44 left to go in the second period. Pillars two, Norton one. It's been a good battle so far tonight. Jake Connors up against Mike Whalen in the face-off circle. Poked around the boards. Up along the near side, here comes Connors. Pass over to Quinlan. Quinlan puts that off the end boards. Pass by Faolino. Jammed up along the near side, Connors trying to dig it out of there. Well, it's Quillen, but it's taken away by Dierkel. Here comes the Lancers. That was uh, Mike Whalen, rather. Now Aiden Walsh working up the far side. And he's had good footwork tonight, and he got a good shot off there, but it was turned away by Director. Face off upcoming with 2.58 left to go. Dan Kirk on the face off for the Hillers. It'll be Pat Donahue for Norton. Sheamus pass up. Kirk trying to track it down. Kirk able to get it away along the near side now. Gilbert with a shot. That one was off the stick of the Lancer. I believe Brennan got the stick on it. Rogers, and he was trying to pass it back towards the blue line. It was stolen away by Jeremy Cross. Pass up by Gilbert. Now here comes Rogers, top of the circle, lifts that one just a little bit too high. Kirk back to Gilbert. Lancer is racing up. Kajir with possession. Gier jammed up along the end boards. Shot there, turned away. Up along the side of the net, he lifted the net. Can't do that. That guy lifted up as Gajir was battling Gilbert. And Sheamus behind the net. Face off in the Hiller's zone. 2-0-1 left to go in the second period. I think the Slancers team giving it all they got today. They'd really like to make a statement and show the TVL that they can compete with the best of them despite their record. Here comes Walsh. Walsh racing up, looking for a shot. And we'll lift that one over to the near side. Hamlet gets a stick on it. Walsh. Gilbert with the backhander turned away. Up along the near side, Walsh jammed up with Flugager. Now behind the net, Hamblett trying to get to it. He's wrapped up with Kajir. Lydon gets the stick on it. That's knocked down by Juliano. Walsh with the backhander, turned away by Director. Kajir was able to put it off the boards. Lancers trying to work their way up. Pass across by Giuliano, picked up by Jarrett. Jarrett racing up the far side, offside Hillers. One thirteen left to go in the second period. Hopkinton has had the majority of possession in this second period. And 
they have not really given the Lancers any opportunities to try to even this game up. Dan Kirk up against Mike Whalen. It's only a one goal lead. Certainly can't be too comfortable with just a one goal lead. Weinstock trying to change that. That's wrapped up by Director. Face off in the far side circle. 106 left to go. Rogers lifts that one off the glass. And now it's ruled out of play. First line back out there for the Hillers for the remaining 101 of this second period. Gilbert gets a stick on it, and Simos was nearly able to get a secondary attempt. Gilbert along the near side. And offsides Norton as that was lifted up into the neutral zone by Giuliano. Now the neck came dislodged, rather, so that was the call there. Fifty-one seconds left to go in the second period. We'll have a face-off at center ice between Gilbert and Giuliano. All right, Walsh is going to get in there, rather. Saparoshitz off the board. Samlet closing in. Walsh racing up the ice. Takes control of it, looking to turn it around, and he missed it. Getting in there was Flukinger. Here comes the Lancers looking for an opportunity. Stolen back by Walsh. Brandon Hayden was hoping someone would pick him up on the left side. Now Saparoshitz. Saparoshitz racing in. Walsh. He was looking for Hamlet. 12 seconds left to go in the second period. That one's stolen away by Simos. Simos was looking for a break there. Up along the near side it goes. There's a shot turn away by Bailey. And that is going to do it for the second period. After two, it's the Hillers. Two, Norton, one. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers. Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness, and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Welcome back to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera. And we are ready for the third period of action between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Norton Lancers. Norton, one win, eight losses, two ties on the season. The Hillers, eight wins, two losses, two ties on the season. If Hopkinton is able to win today and grab the two points, they officially clinch a playoff spot right now heading into the third period. They lead it 2-1 to one, thanks to Tommy Hamlet who had a goal 30 seconds into the first period and about 47 seconds into the second period. And we are ready to start the final frame here at the New England Sports Center. John Walsh up against Joseph Giuliano and we are underway. Jerry was looking to pass over to Gilbert. Gilbert turns it around, Simos bangs it off the boards. Here comes Walsh and Hamlet. Hamlet into the circle, trying to leave it for Walsh and it just got by him. Simos jammed up along the near side, is able to get that one out of there. 
Hamlet, Walsh out in front. And Hamlet had no choice there but to slice it back to Walsh. And there's Simos with a shot, and it's matched, and it's wrapped up by Director. That was a good save there by Mitchell Director. Simos was right in front of the net. That's where the Hillers have been trying to set up shop, but for the most part, they're not really letting them. As Simos gets a shot off there, it's deflected away. Jarrett, wide to the right. Simos trying to track it down along the far side. Back to the near side corner, Gajir tracks it down for Norton. And he'll put that one off of Brand. Or Bailey, rather, excuse me. It's Gray Bailey, the junior. Up along the far side, Jarrett will track it down. Jarrett looking for Gilbert there. Gilbert bangs up against Gajir. Walsh gets a stick on it. Hamlet along the near side, able to find Simos. Here comes Simos closing in the shot, and it's turned away by Director. What a save that was. I don't know how he was able to get to that one. That was a wide open. Opportunity for Simos. Well, once again, the Hillers meet up with a great goaltender. And it's been the goaltender for Norton really keeping this game close. 13-16 left to go in the third period. Face off in the Norton zone. Dan Kirk on the faceoff for the Hillers. He's up against Pat Donahue. Over the far side it goes. Rogers trying to get the stick on it. White stock. Able to knock it towards Rogers. Over to Saparoshitz. Saparoshitz goes wide to the right with it. On the far side, that's Cross. Now here comes Kirk. Back to the Hiller zone it goes. And I'll draw the whistle. Icing call there. Well, the, Hiller, the Hillers have certainly won the possession battle. They have 31 shots on net, says the scoreboard, compared to just nine for Norton. And there's another shot wrapped up by Director. That was from Aiden Walsh. That was Aiden Walsh with a one-timer. Jake Connors on the faceoff for the Hillers. Over to Aiden Walsh, Quinlan. Hangs it off the board, here comes Aiden Walsh. He's knocked down. Gajir was trying to get to it, but it's stolen away by Connors. Over to the near side corner to Walsh. Now Quinlan leaves it behind for Sheamus. Sheamus puts it back towards Quinlan. Sheamus with a shot, and that was nearly through the five hole. Another great save by Director, and there's another shot by Connors. A little too much mustard on that one. Gilbert gets in there and wraps it around. Aiden Walsh looking to jam it in. Turned away quickly. Back towards Sheamus, the backhander. Connors along the far side. He's trying to leave it towards Gilbert, and now Norton has a break. Quickly approaching. And it is going to be a great save by Gray Bailey. It was one on one with a quickly closing in Declan Gill. But Gray Bailey was able to make an incredible save. Walsh up against Giuliano. Jarrett. Pass over the far side towards Simos. Here comes Walsh. Glove save there by Director. He'll drop it and now close it as approaching from his blind side was Hamlet. Walsh up against Giuliano. Simos leaves it behind for Jarrett. 
Jared over towards Hamblin. Back to Walsh now. Walsh swipes that one behind him, picking it up. There's Gajir. Jarrett, good shot as director is able to play that one off his leg pad. Lancers trying to establish an attack. They've had an enormously tough time establishing any attack against this first line for the Hillers. Up along the far side, Hamlet meets up with Kajir. Jarrett tracks it down. Over to Walsh, Walsh on a break, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Walsh up against McCarthy. Around McCarthy, he goes, the shot! And it is a goal for the Hillers. Sean Walsh was able to put it in through the five hole and make it three to one Hopkinton. That comes with 10.44 left in the third period. And with the incredible goalkeeping on both sides today, everybody uh, had to do a double take to see if that one actually went in. But it was just able to slip by the reach of Mitchell Director. Up along the end boards. There's a Norton shot, and that is wide to the right from Faolino. Saparosius tracks it down. Rogers up along the far side. Gilbert chasing it down to the near side corner. And we have a whistle. And this is going to give the Hillers a man advantage. Heading to the box for Norton is Joseph Faolino, the sophomore. So the Hiller is on the power play. Sean Walsh up against Mike Whalen. Jarrett, pass over to Gilbert Rister, turned away from director. Penalty was roughing. So Hiller is on the power play. Racing up the near side is Walsh. Here he comes. And he'll bang into McCarthy. Hamlet along the far side along with Kajir. Walsh trying to get to it, and Kajir had a stick. No whistle, however, as the official saw it as non-intentional. Or we could have a delayed penalty, we'll see. Giuliano trying to turn it around. Certainly didn't look intentional. Simos up the far side. Banged up along the end boards. Jarrett with a shot and it's turned away by Director and it rolls just in front of Walsh. Simos with a secondary shot and that one's turned away. Hamlet with possession. Over to Gilbert. Back to Hamlet, now Jarrett. Jarrett was looking for Walsh in the slot. Walsh up to Gilbert, over to Jarrett. Jarrett, and he's diverted by McCarthy. McCarthy lifts that around the end boards. Andrew Gilbert will track it around. Hillers switch things up, 15 seconds left on the power play. Hillers with a 3-1 lead as we are stopped at 8.22 now. Have a face-off in the Norton zone. Or offsides rather, so neutral zone. Dan Kirk leaves it behind for Saparoshitz. Now to the near side of Weinstock. Weinstock tracks along the end boards. And we get a whistle. Face off in the northern zone. Not quite sure what that stoppage was about. Perhaps the net came dislodged. I think that's what 
indeed happened. And the net seems to be floating away a little bit. So we'll have to get that peg a little deeper in the ice. Eight minutes, three seconds left to go. The Hiller is leading Norton three to one. 36 to 10 as far as shots on net. It's been a pretty dominant performance by the Hillers. But a great goaltending performance by Mitchell Director. The Hillers have been putting a lot of pressure on the goaltender. And they've had some good shots, but there's been a lot of great saves here tonight. Racing up the far side is Pat Lord and Sheamus has possession and flips it up the ice. Icing it is. We'll head to the Hillers defensive zone. Place that the Lancers have not been a whole lot in this third period. First line out there for Hopkinton. Walsh up against Giuliano. Pass up to Hamlet. Now cross over to Simos. Simos trying to leave it for Walsh. Offsides. Well, the Hillers, they've been on a bit of a roll. They've won two straight heading into tonight's game. Before that, they tied Norwood 3-3. Three three. They've not lost since all the way back on December 29th against Algonquin. Along the far side. Pass over, there's the flip and a goal! Steve Simos with the backhander flips it in. Pass to reach of director and it's 4-1 to one Hillers. That goal comes with 7.17 left as the Hillers start to pour it on. Well, Simos was set up perfectly. That puck rolled right to the back of his stick for the easy flip in. Jake Connors up against Mike Whalen. Up along the far side, Gajir. Getting a stick on his Connors. Aiden Walsh finds it behind the net. Lancer's trying to establish an attack, but Biden has something to say about that. Off the skates of Quinlan and flip over by Connors. Up along the near side, Gilbert. And that is out of play. Mike Whalen with the last touch, flipped it over to the penalty box. Clock stopped at 6.40, the Hillers leading Norton four to one. It was two to one to start the period, but Sean Walsh scoring with 10.44 left, Steve Simos with 7.17. Right now we're at 6.37 and counting left to go here in regulation. Dan Kirk with possession. Flips it up over to Rogers. Lancers have had trouble getting any kind of momentum going really since the first period. We'll have an icing call here. Coming up for the Hillers. This coming Saturday, they'll be at Ashland for a 350 game. Then back here at home on next Wednesday against Medfield. And Medfield, that's a team they lost to back on December 20th. We had that game for you here on HCAM, so that'll certainly be a tough battle against the very good Medfield Warriors team that has yet to lose a game this season. Gilbert flips it up the near side. Gilbert trying to turn it around. Weinstock gets in there. Lancer's looking for a shot. Pass across by Juliano. Rogers with the steal there. Dan Kirk and Kyle Rogers working up the far side. Here comes Rogers closing in. And there's a goal! Kyle Rogers with a beauty of a wrister puts it in. 5 1 Hillers. The goal comes with 5.41 left to go. 
And the Hiller is in complete control. And just five minutes, 41 seconds away from officially clinching a playoff spot. Up along the near side. Tyler Morris getting in there. So Hiller is bringing everybody in there now for a taste of the action. Jammed up in front, wrapped up by Bailey. Clock stops with 5.25 left to go. Face off is between Callum Greenwood and Pat Donahue. Here comes the Hillers. Pass over towards Greenwood. Leaves it behind, picked up by Morris. Now up the near side, it's Sheamus, and we get a whistle. Offsides is the call. Sheamus, pass across over to Saparoshitz. Along the boards, Morse along the corner. Jammed up, Toko trying to get it out of there. Toko along the far side, drawing a couple pushes. Now here comes Morse trying to close in. Morse doing battle with Donahue up along the near side corner. Trying to sneak in there is Callum Greenwood. Closing in on 4.30 left to go. Saparoshitz tracks it down. Pass over by Sheamus. Greenwood gets a stick on it. Over along the far side, Saparoshitz. He's up against Jeremy Cross. There's a shot, and it's turned away. Ray Bailey's had some incredible saves tonight. And we'll get an icing here. 3.54 left to go. Hiller is leading Norton 5-1. to one. Hiller is switching up defensively. They got Reese Griffiths out there. Gilbert. Simos picks it up along the far side. Flips it up the ice. Tracked down by Flugager. Walsh. And flipped off the boards by Del Grosso. Gilbert tracks it down. Here comes Walsh racing up the ice. Walsh closing in, and he's turned away. And the net came dislodged. Well, an impressive performance here by the Hillers. A little bit of slow of a start, but they held up defensively. It was great play in net by Gray Bailey. And they're gonna get the job done here tonight. Jay Connors up against Giuliano. A little misfire there by Reese Griffiths. Up along the near side, Gajir. There's a shot, and out in front, and it's wrapped up. Good save by Bailey. Ray Bailey has had quite a few good saves tonight. Up along the far side, that's Aiden Walsh. Lancer is looking for a shot here. And another good save by Bailey. And we have a penalty here as well. I think it was just signaling that the net came dislodged. Connors up against Giuliano. Bailino hits up the boards. 2.45 and counting left to go in regulation. 
Tracked down in the corner by Connors. Up behind the net, that's Ben Abernathy. There's a wrister wide to the left by McCarthy. Clyden gets a stick on it. Sails back to the neutral zone. Turned away by Bailey. Clyden will hold on to it for a bit before flipping it up the ice. McCarthy's there for the Lancers. Abernathy works it up the near side. Quinlan. And now here comes Connors, but first we'll get a whistle off sides. Dan Kirk up against Pat Donahue. Saperoshitz with a heck of a shot there, wide to the left. All kinds of power on that shot. You have to watch out for Saperoshitz from the blue line. He really just gets a lot of power on the puck. Weinstock up against Lorden. Flipped up the off the near side boards by Sheamus. Jammed up now a little bit here along the near side boards. Weinstock and Kirk in there for the Hillers. Poked up by McCarthy to Lorden. Minute and a half left to go in regulation. Saparoshitz tracks it down. Now picking it up, Sheamus. That's over to Rogers. Here comes Rogers. In the Norton territory he goes. Kirk leaves it behind. Rogers with possession. Rogers had a heck of a goal today. Trying to score another here, and it is wrapped up. Clock stops at 103. Jeff Toko, Callum Greenwood back out there for the Hillers. Official putting the net back in place. Face-off circle, Callum Greenwood up against Mike Whalen. On the near side, Morse. Here comes the Lancers. Bukajer having trouble keeping it, keeping it in front. East Griffiths bangs up along with John Brennan there. Digging it out of the near side is Toko. Up behind the net is Morse. Toko trying to leave it out in front. 29 seconds and counting left to go. Greenwood with the pass up and we have a whistle. Offsides. Comes the Lancers racing up Hayden, and that one's turned away by Bailey. Good save there. He's able to poke it away with the glove. Ten seconds left. Here comes Toko. Toko trying to leave it for Greenwood. And that's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers have officially clinched the playoff spot as they defeat the Norton Lancers 5-1. Hiller is now nine wins, two losses, two ties on the season. Norton falls to one win, nine losses, two ties. The Hillers take down the Lancers by a final score of five to one. For John Ritz on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Bar City Hockey on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.